Snakebot scales sandy slopes with sidewinder slither Carnegie Mellows modular robotic snake is able to traverse sandy environments, thanks to lessons learned from sidewinder snakes. They may not have legs, but snakes know how to get around, they can swim, climb, even glide through the air. If you could make a robot that could tap into snake locomotion, you'd have one versatile mechanical beast. Modsake a modular robotic snake that has been in development at Carnegie Mello is working on that. Now, thanks to some assistance from researchers at Georgia Institute of Technology, Oregon State University and Zoo at later, the robot will be able to learn to slither from the real-life sidewinding gate. Although Modsake's previous sidewinding gate was inspired by real snakes, it wasn't precisely like the gate of a real snake. It used one horizontal and one vertical sine wave, interacting to move the snake sideways. If the modsake were to be placed on a sandy slope using this gate, parts of its body would dig into the sand which is not how a real snake sidewinds. Indeed, the modsake had real difficulty on sand and sandy slopes. Instead, the snake stretches its body out staying low and increasing the amount its body in contact with the ground, using a series of wave motions to propel itself along by holding the parts of its body in contact with the ground still and only moving the parts it lifts off the ground. We realized that the sidewinder snakes use a template for climbing on sand, two orthogonal waves that they can control independently, said Hamid Marvi a postdoctoral fellow at Carnegie Mellow who conducted the experiments while he was a graduate student at Georgia Tech. We used the snake robot to systematically study the failure modes in sidewinding. We learned there are three different failure regimes, which we can avoid by carefully adjusting the aspect ratio of the two waves, thus controlling the area of the body in contact with the sand. The Modsake robot was programmed to move by passing both horizontal and vertical waves through its body in order to move through three-dimensional space, 